All right, we are live. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight, guys, we're gonna swatch these Essie Gel Couture Brilliant Brocade polishes. And I really enjoyed this collection as well. Essie is really on a roll for me. If you saw on my Instagram today, I just posted two more collections that I picked up from them. The, um, put a, I wanna say put a stamp on it. That's not it. It's a, <laughs> Keep You Posted, the Keep You Posted collection. They, uh, oh, I was gonna show you on the screen, which I will now do. The Keep You Posted collection has these, um, this adorable little postage stamp, and then here are, oh, this is just one color. So here's the colors we have here. We have this purple and this like awesome orange. So these just came to me in the mail. Um, Target decided it would be a good idea to not package it in any sort of a way and they were just totally loose in the box which I thought was interesting also you also you also hi guys Quila Kirsten let's talk more polish um, I picked up the spring trend nail uh, color 2021 collection and here are the colors look how beautiful we have this really interesting green called cacti on the prize and then this mustard, you know the espadrille. So, oh, here's a good photo. Ooh, there we go, that's nice. So, let's look at this cactus one. Let's look at that lovely one with the, ah, so nice. So, really excited to swatch those for you. This collection in particular, I got from polishpick.com and it's very elegant. These all apply beautifully, just as gel couture polishes always do. I really, really enjoyed them. So I'm gonna swatch them in two coats as we always do, and then I'll give you a full hand swatch. So we're gonna go in alphabetical order, <clears throat> and we're gonna start out with Brocade Crusade. So two, two of these polishes don't have shimmer. The rest have this kind of just silver shimmer running through the base. Not like really, really interesting but I thought it was pretty. So this is kind of a silvered gray indigo shade. Hi, Tina. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so <clears throat> this first one I thought was beautiful and watch this coverage. So usually I find the Gel Couture line to just kind of have like a little bit more silky feel than the regular um, Essie line, but they aren't usually, I feel like, this full coverage. So I was kind of wowed by that. So we really only need one coat with that. That's Brilliant Brocade, and that's this kind of indigo gray with some silver shimmer. The next one up is this very deep violet with silver shimmer. And this one is called Embossed Lady embossed lady I went to another granite um <clears throat> well it was stone because not just granite there was lots of granite there but it was another stone gallery today to like help me make up my mind on the stone that I want for my house and I just don't want to like I didn't want to go all in without you know really looking around a lot but this place I went to today also had the stone that I found at the other place that I really, really love, which the guy at the gallery today told me that dolomite is very close to quartzite and can be called dolomite or quartzite. I am not a stone person. I don't know how you classify stone, but he was like, this is a gray area. You could call this quartzite if you wanted to. I was like, um, okay. Oh, hi, Annette. Thanks for coming on by. Hi, Cheryl and Sarah. Um, so look at that coverage on this purple. Isn't that nice? And like I said, these are really, really elegant. They have a gorgeous finish. They finish nice and, I would say shiny, not glossy. But the added shimmer does give a little bit more dimension. This next one is not a shimmer. It's just a cream. And this is just a magenta shade. And it is called Garment Glory. So all of you seamstresses out here, there is this um, seamstress collection. Although, 
since the proper term, we don't want to um, genderize it by calling it seamstress. What is the, should we say tailor? Is that better? Isn't that pretty? And I think that they go so nicely together. So anyway, I looked at a hundred more slabs of stone today, a hundred more, and they have the same one. They had three of the one that I like there and they were like spaced out over the whole like huge gallery. And they, they had like slight differences to them, but they were essentially the same thing. And I kept wandering on the slab and being like, oh, I love this one. And then I'd go check the name and I'm like, this is the one I already know I love and I'm trying to convince myself to love something else instead. Really nice, huh? Less talk, more polish, I agree. Um, you know, I don't really lean to magenta, but this is really pretty. I think it's nice. It's like going towards berry. It's not so fuchsia. Next up, we have this um, kind of taupe with uh, that silver shimmer again, and it's called High Society, but it's spelled so society, like you're going to sew a garment. So anyway, you guys, Tim and I are walking around this place and we I just keep like dying over this one that is the one that I already know I love. And every time I find it, I'm like, oh, this has got to be something new. This is very similar to what I like. And I'll just be so happy now that I can choose something that's not going to stain as easily. Because that's the problem with choosing a softer quartzite slash dolomite. I guess what they're telling me is that if I let anything sit on it, it could stain it. And, you know, with kids, that's always a worry. Isn't that nice, you guys? Basically, basically all one coders here. This one, because I have a strong nail line, you can see my nail line there. But um, but yeah, you really don't need to. I'm gonna put on a second one anyway, though, because it definitely needs either a second coat or a top coat as that dried down. I could see my nail ridging. I love this one. This shade is just, ooh, so gorgeous. If I were a woman of the workplace that was in the workplace, not in my own uh, in my own personal workplace, <laughs> I would need me a suit out of this color. It is so gorgeous. So anyway, after we stayed there for two hours, looking at them, I walked up and down those aisles, looked at every single one three times, gave myself a whole bunch of runners up, and I just can't like get over this one kind of stone. I'm just so in love with it. And Tim's like, okay. We're not going to pick anyone except the one that you love so much. So we'll just seal it really well and we'll just try our best to take care of it. So that's the plan. Hopefully, I mean, I'm just going to love seeing it in my home so much. It's just gorgeous. I showed it to you guys on a, on a swatch fest. So I'm just doing finishing up two coats of each of these. Um, yeah, it does have a slightly warm undertone. You're right. It's like taupe going towards a beige. And here's a second coat of that too. I just all in all, this whole collection looks very classic, but you have some fun color in there. And, you know, not all the shades that we grew up with where it was like very few things to choose from. I feel like this was one of the things that I could choose from when I was a kid. And the notion of wearing purple or blue nail polish, oh my gosh. So there's the first four. <laughs> Let me take off these two. Hi, Shelly. Oh, hey, Anouk. I hope you feel better soon. Yes. All you amethyst babies out there, huh? I have an amethyst baby, so on my mother's ring, she has that middle spot there. And my mother um, is also an amethyst baby. And my brother and my mother-in-law. All the February people are cool people. You did just get this one, Shelly. Do you love it? Do you already have it? They apply so nicely. I am not surprised if you love it. Okay, last two shades are my favorite one. And then this really uber deep dark, um, like blackened grape. My nose keeps being itchy. Oh, I was going to show you pictures. <laughs> Silly me. Let me put these on and then we'll let them dry and I'll show you pictures of everything. So this green is teal. And it's called Jewels and Jacquard Only. 
and it looked green just now in the camera like that's coming off more warm than it really is um it's definitely a warm teal though so i just thought this one was so beautiful i don't know how to adjust the warmth on this um, camera in the way that i want to um yeah, like if I try to mess with it, it looks real weird, guys. <laughs> so I don't want to mess with it in the middle of the video. Uh, I know, right, Koila? Okay, this last one up is called Tailored by Twilight, and it's a very dark plum jelly. Again, just so classic and chic. Love, love, love. It's just like dipping your fingers in grape juice. So pretty. Okay, so now we've applied them all. Ooh, that sounds nice, Sarah. Okay, so let's take a look at them all. So the first one is one of my top picks because of the color. I just love this color so much. It's a dark gray, but it has a lot of blue in it. It's so pretty. It has a lot of indigo in it, I should say. I wouldn't say it's blue. It's it's indigo. So that one is Brocade Crusade. And if I was only going to pick two, I think I'd have to include this one. And then we did the Deep Violet, which I also really, really love. It just looks so chic on. So gorgeous. And I love the silver shimmer in this one. Um, and I really, really like this as well. But it didn't. I didn't hit my top two. And then here's the Berry Magenta shade. And this one, let me see if I can fix that. There we go. This one was called Garment Glory. And that purple was called Embossed Lady. Cute, huh? Like Boss Lady. So this, uh, this one, I would say, unless you are wanting to pick up the whole collection, I'm sure you have something in your collection like that shade. Next, we have High Society. Hi Society. It's kind of like a in between a taupe, bone, beige, all in there. Really, really chic again. Such great color choices that Essie makes all the time. And then we had Jewels and Jacquard only. Am I saying that right, you guys? I'm sorry. Isn't that pretty? Oh, it's so pretty. So I think this one is my top pick. And then um, Brocade Crusade and then Embossed Lady. Those are just my personal preferences on color. And then this one looks devastating. So beautiful. So let me leave that there while I finish off these last two on their second coat. My nose is itchy. What does that mean when somebody's thinking about you? And you've got like a little nose tickle. Hopefully it's my boyfriend, Tim. Tim had some more imaging today. We were down in Salt Lake getting imaging done and in between he had like two imaging tests and we went to go look at more stone while we were waiting. And then we're going back again tomorrow for the third and final um, for that contrast session. Hopefully we'll get good news next time he goes to see the cardiologist. And there's that. So super gorgeous, even though it's a jelly so so nice at two coats i just accidentally um you know when you go to put your brush back in the bottle and you miss and you stick it down the side of the bottle <laughs> i don't know who else does that besides me but i do that sometimes especially when i'm not looking at the bottle so 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 pretty just great great impactful shades to wear really pack a punch so pigmented and just great quality product. It goes on so nice. So that is the full collection. And like I said, I got it from polishpick.com. I see that it's all it's also at um head to beauty.com, I believe. So that's gonna be it for this. Jug card. Okay. J and J is sold out already at Ulta. Oh no. Well, I think you can still get it at um at polish pick and like I said this the shimmer is very subtle in my opinion I mean can you see it a lot in this 
That's how much it shows. I think it maybe shows the most in this purple, but it's still very subtle. It just shows the most in this one because it's the darkest, but I mean, you can hardly see it in, in this one. Unless you're looking up close. If you're looking up close, then yeah. Mm, my nose is so pretty, guys. Okay, well, that's going to be it for today. So I have picked up a bunch of, of new things that I keep forgetting that I swatched. So I picked up the, um, it's like the Birthday Brat Trio from Lights Lacquer, which is her first anniversary collection, that little trio. We're going to swatch that. I snagged those Sheer Mats from Simple Colors and all the Essentials polishes. We're going to look at those. And I also picked up... Um, like those two essays that I said also, what was the other thing? Oh, a new collection from Ice Cream Polish. I've never tried that brand before and we're going to take a look at them. They released a new collection recently and I was like, hmm, this looks fun and I don't know why I haven't tried this before, so let's try it. So that's going to be what's coming up next, but we have two indie collections coming before any of that stuff. We're going to look at the Glam Polish Valentine's Day, like big thing that they have going on. And then... um top shelf lacquer. So that's what we'll do first. And that's going to be it for today. So thanks for joining me. I really appreciate you hanging out with me. I'll see you back for the next video very soon. Bye guys.